Hello everyone, this is Daria from Kaya Academy and today I'm going to show you how to upload your photo to Twitter. So in Twitter, which has become the most popular and fun social network of recent times, the problems experienced during the process of profile picture change bothers the users. Since the profile photo is a feature that allows the person to be viewed and recognized by their friends, it will be very good to follow the steps related to the actions that need to be done in order, to, in order for this photo to be visible to the people. So to market your product, business or brand on Twitter, you need to choose an image to represent it. Few things are bigger to map on Twitter than profile pages that haven't picked an original avatar to substitute for Twitter's default avatar. So to change your Twitter picture, you have to follow these steps. So what we're going to do first is that we're going to go to our profile. And from here, we're going to go to edit profile. As you can see, I already have a picture, but I would like to change my picture. So what do I do is I click here and then my documents will be open. And from here, I'd like to choose yeah. Okay, now I have chosen this picture to make it my profile. So I can move it like this to choose which part I want it to be. So, okay, I like it like this. Should I go like this? Mm, no, this is okay like this. So what do I do now? is apply and right now to save the changes that I have done what do I have to do is I have to click the save button and after a few moments Twitter displays your new avatar on your profile page and it may take a few seconds to display your Twitter profile picture depiction and your beautiful face or logo if your company or organization will be displayed in due time so let's see how many minutes actually seconds it will take Not even three almost. So your profile picture is meant to help others identify you easily and tell a bit more about you to those who may not know you. You know, a logo for your business or product may be a good choice for your picture if you're running an organization or company page. So, but if your company has a spokesperson or image of an individual that people can relate to, like for example, your CEO, you know, those kind of things, uh, use a photo of that person. Think how you can make the photo as interesting as possible. For example, just like I did, crop a portion of the photo to show an unusual angle to get people's attention. So the reason why I have used it this way, because I want my face and not my hair to be speaking out. And whatever image you choose, make sure you have permission to use it or avoid getting, like you might get in trouble, so you have to have the permission to avoid getting in trouble. But since I'm using my own picture, I will not say something like that, I believe. If there's someone that who has the same picture of me that saying that they, it's theirs, you know. So because copyright issues are, and pretending you're someone you're not, are two bad mistakes for a business using Twitter. But since our since my page is not a uh, business page, but this doesn't mean that I can be using someone else's pictures. It is still something that a big bad mistake, you know. And by breaking that Twitter law, if you pretend to be someone else, or if you're using some picture or image that you don't have the copyrights to, like your account could be deleted or just suspended. So remember your followers. You do not want to be deleted or suspended. So if you have any questions about this video or any other problem that you might be facing when it comes to technology, you can ask me down in the comments and I will be there to answer your questions greatly. So thank you for watching and if you have liked this video, do not forget to give us thumbs up. And I don't think if you haven't subscribed yet, but if you haven't, do it you can just go and click on that button. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. See you soon.